The magical world of Disney World turned into a scene of heartbreak for one family. Jeffrey Piccolo and his wife, Dr. Kanakporn Tangswan, were enjoying a vacation at Disney Springs. This area is known for its shopping and dining experiences. However, their trip took a devastating turn at the Raglan Road restaurant. Tangswan, who had severe food allergies, suffered a fatal allergic reaction despite informing the restaurant staff about her condition. This tragedy led to a wrongful death lawsuit against Disney, the property owner and the restaurant. Disney's initial response to the lawsuit sparked outrage and raised serious questions about corporate legal tactics. Dr. Kanokporn Tangswan was a vibrant woman full of life and energy. She had a bright future ahead of her, marked by numerous achievements and aspirations. She was a beloved wife, a dedicated professional and an avid traveller who loved exploring new places with her husband. Tang Xuan had a known history of severe dairy and nut allergies, which she managed meticulously. She was always careful to inform restaurants about her allergies and take necessary precautions, wearing a medical alert bracelet at all times. During their visit to Raglan Road, Tang Xuan and her husband, Jeffrey Piccolo, made sure to alert the staff about her allergies, emphasizing the severity of her condition. Despite these precautions, Tang Xuan suffered a severe allergic reaction. The situation escalated quickly and emergency services were called immediately. Tragically, she passed away before reaching the hospital. The medical examiner confirmed that her death was due to anaphylaxis caused by elevated levels of dairy and nuts found in her system. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of food allergies and the importance of vigilance in managing them. Disney's initial response to the wrongful death lawsuit filed by Jeffrey Piccolo was met with widespread condemnation. The company attempted to compel arbitration based on a clause found in the terms and conditions of their streaming service, Disney+. Plus. Piccolo had briefly subscribed to Disney Plus in 2019. Disney argued that this subscription meant any disputes, including the wrongful death lawsuit, should be settled through private arbitration rather than in court. This legal strategy, using a seemingly unrelated agreement to avoid a public trial, was widely criticised as insensitive and opportunistic. Disney's attempt to use a Disney Plus subscriber agreement to compel arbitration in a wrongful death lawsuit sparked immediate backlash. The public, legal experts and even celebrities expressed their outrage over Disney's perceived insensitivity and disregard for the gravity of the situation. Critics argued that Disney was trying to exploit a technicality to avoid accountability and potentially limit the amount of compensation awarded to the grieving family. The negative publicity surrounding Disney's legal strategy put the company in a harsh spotlight, forcing them to re-evaluate their approach. Section 5. The Ethics of Corporate Legal Tactics Exploring the Implications of Disney's Initial Strategy Disney's initial legal strategy in the wrongful death lawsuit raised serious ethical questions about corporate behaviour and the use of legal loopholes. The case revolved around the tragic death of a young child at one of Disney's theme parks, which led to a lawsuit filed by the grieving family. Critics argued that Disney's attempt to use a Disney Plus subscriber agreement to compel arbitration was a clear example of a corporation prioritizing its own interests over the well-being of individuals. This move was seen as an effort to avoid a public trial and potentially damaging publicity. This case highlighted the potential for large companies to leverage their resources and legal teams to evade responsibility and silence victims. The use of arbitration clauses in consumer agreements has been a contentious issue, with many arguing that it undermines the rights of individuals to seek justice through the courts. The public outcry over Disney's actions served as a stark reminder of the importance of ethical considerations in corporate decision-making. The backlash was not just from the public, but also from legal experts and consumer rights advocates who called for greater transparency and accountability especially when dealing with sensitive issues like wrongful death. The case ultimately led to a broader discussion about the role of corporations in society 
and the need for more stringent regulations to protect consumers and ensure that justice is served. Section 6, Food Allergies in the Spotlight, the case that sparked a national conversation. The tragic death of Kanakporn Tung Swan and the subsequent lawsuit against Disney brought the issue of food allergies to the forefront of national conversation. Tang Swan's case served as a heartbreaking reminder of the very real dangers of food allergies and the importance of proper food handling protocols. It also highlighted the need for increased awareness and understanding of food allergies within the food service industry. The case sparked discussions about the responsibilities of restaurants and businesses in ensuring the safety of customers with food allergies. Section 7 a victory for transparency, Disney backs down and agrees to a jury trial. In the face of mounting public pressure and legal scrutiny, Disney ultimately reversed course and withdrew their request for arbitration. This decision, announced by Disney representative Josh DeMauro, signaled a significant shift in the company's approach to the lawsuit. DeMauro stated that Disney recognized the sensitivity of the situation and wanted to expedite a resolution for the grieving family. By agreeing to proceed in court, Disney opted for a more transparent process, allowing the case to be heard by a jury of their peers. Section 8. Lessons learned and future implications. How Disney's decision could reshape corporate practices. Disney's decision to back down from their initial arbitration request could have far-reaching implications for corporate legal strategies and the handling of food allergies in the hospitality industry. The case highlighted the reputational risks associated with employing aggressive legal tactics, especially in cases involving sensitive matters like wrongful death. It also underscored the importance of public perception and the potential consequences of appearing insensitive or evasive in the face of tragedy. Disney's experience serves as a cautionary tale for other corporations, encouraging them to prioritize ethical considerations and public accountability. Section 9. The Road Ahead, Navigating Legal Battles and Advocating for Food Allergy Awareness. While Disney's decision to allow the lawsuit to proceed in court is a significant development, it marks just the beginning of a long and arduous journey for all involved. The legal battle is far from over, and both sides are gearing up for what promises to be a complex and emotionally charged case. Both parties will now engage in the discovery phase, a critical stage where they will gather and exchange crucial evidence and witness testimonies. This phase is essential for building a strong case, as it involves meticulous preparation and strategic planning. The case will then proceed to trial unless a settlement is reached out of court. The trial itself could be lengthy and complex, involving numerous legal arguments and witness testimonies. Beyond the legal proceedings, Geoffrey Piccolo remains committed to raising awareness about food allergies. He has been actively participating in various campaigns and events, advocating for stricter safety protocols within the food service industry. His efforts aim to ensure that restaurants and food service providers adhere to the highest standards of food safety. He hopes that his wife's tragic death will serve as a catalyst for change, inspiring others to take food allergies seriously and implement necessary precautions. By sharing his story and advocating for change, Jeffrey aims to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future, ensuring that families can dine out safely without fear of allergic reactions. Section 10. Conclusion a call for accountability, compassion and lasting change. The tragic death of Kanokpun Tang Swan and the subsequent legal battle have shed light on critical issues surrounding corporate accountability, food allergy awareness and the ethical considerations that should guide corporate decision making. While the legal process will ultimately determine the outcome of the lawsuit, the case has already sparked a national conversation about the importance of prioritizing human life and well-being over corporate interests. Ultimately, the hope is that this tragedy will lead to lasting change, fostering a culture of greater awareness,